up sauce gang and welcome back to the channel hot sauce beats here with another educational and scary reaction because in a nutshell has dropped this disease is deadlier than the plague and a couple things are always guaranteed when we do these reactions in a nutshell a i'm gonna get super confused because this is way above my brain power and b sometimes it, we get scared because he talks about stuff like the world blown up from aliens a disease deadlier than the plague and it's probably in like it's in lunch meat I don't know, I'm just, I don't know, it's probably every day. It's probably on toilet paper, so you gotta stop wiping. That's a joke, don't stop wiping. But I'm beyond hyped to jump into this, but before we do, can you show in a nutshell some love by subscribing to the channel and chat? We're trying to get to a quarter million subs. So if you haven't yet, please smash that subscribe button and join the Sauce Gang family. But enough talking, let's get to reacting and roll that bomb ass intro. Hot Sauce Beats is finally here. Hot Sauce Beats is finally here. Eat, sleep, make. What's on today's uh, lesson for learning? Hi, Steve here. Plagues. Today, I'm moving over as the voice of Kortzgesagt for something really special. Our dearest friend, John Green, would like to tell you a story that's very close to his heart. So, let's hear it from him directly. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Hey, I just want to be hey, ignorant Steve. and dumb. Thanks so much. Let's dive right in. The White Death has haunted humanity like no White other death. disease, following us for thousands, Smoking? maybe millions Cancer? of years. It was there when we tamed fire, invented culture, and ventured out of Africa Smoke? to conquer the world. In 1815, it caused one in four deaths in Britain. In the last 200 years, it killed a billion people way more what? than all wars and natural disasters combined. Even today, it's the infectious disease with the highest kill count, but do you even know what we are talking about? I, no clue. We're talking about Mycobacterium tuberculosis, which causes- I thought, I thought tuberculosis is cured. Is it not? Tuberculosis or TB our original arch enemy. Right now, one in four humans alive are infected with the bacterium. You may be one of them. So how is it possible that we never hear about TB? Well, we the white death is the perfect human predator. Very infectious, but very quiet most of the time. Careful not to murder recklessly. Perfectly adapted to your immune system and just physically incredibly hard to kill. What exactly makes it so powerful? The perfect. It, I think it affects predator. your lungs, right? Usually, the bacterium enters your body through the airways and sets up home in the lungs, a giant living cave. I know a couple things about it. Mainly because also, uh, uh, so they used to have uh, sanatoriums. Sanatoriums is where they kept tuberculosis patients which now are all shut down and a lot of them they say are haunted. You know, I love ghost hunting. Um, also, we racked to Sam and Colby and they go to a lot of sanatoriums, which again is where they held people if they're infected with TB. So there's a lot of deaths. Ended by billions of macrophages, powerful guard cells that hunt and kill intruders. The TB bug is quickly attacked and devoured alive. Unfortunately, this is its plan. The White Death is the worst kind of parasite, an immune system parasite. Macrophages grab their victims, trap them inside a phagosome, and flood it with acid that rips them to pieces. But TB evolved a thick, waxy coat that makes it completely immune to those acids. Worse, nice. it captures and modifies the macrophage to be a perfect host. Like a tiny vampire, the parasite slowly consumes I want to the suck cell. Your blood. TB then replicates extremely slowly. Other microbes that make you sick multiply up to 60 times faster, exploding their numbers before the immune system can eradicate them. But the White Death is so well adapted to you, it has already won by being here no need to rush things. When its host cell is sucked dry and dies, the bacteria infect new macrophages. Although these bacteria are stealthy, the decaying corpses they leave behind do activate a proper immune response. Your body knows something is up and mobilizes its forces. But once again, this is part of the plan. 
Macrophages and many other immune cells try to kill the bacteria, but that it's thick stuff cell like this, wall chat, I don't even know if I really want to know. And resistant to many I just attacks. Be and dumb it about stuff its like attackers this. in the process. So when your cells can't kill them, they do the next best thing, keep the parasites from escaping. A granuloma is formed, a sort of white blob. In the center is a core of infected and dead macrophages, a pleasant home and food for the bacterium. Other immune right. cells surround this sphere of death to contain it, creating a safe space where TB can sit for years. Worse, it is perfectly protected from medication and releases chemicals that Stop. make it hard for your heavy immune weapons to be activated. This is the stalemate version of tuberculosis. The infection is sleeping and the bacteria is doing its thing. This is going on right now in up to 2 billion people. But in 1 in 10 of them, the disease will become active. Active tuberculosis is an emergency, but again, a slow one. If your immune system can't contain the infection anymore, granulomas burst. Suddenly, your lungs are filled with macrophage corpses and fresh bacteria. Your immune system panics and overreacts. I don't want to know this stuff, Chad. I don't want to know this stuff. Soldiers leave your blood and rush to the infected areas. They order inflammation and fluids flood into your lungs. But unfortunately, your lungs are not Too made late. to be You're a screwed. battlefield. In their panic, your immune cells don't care. They're running around with flamethrowers trying to purge the infection, but causing terrible damage. As fluids and dead tissue amass, it becomes difficult to breathe, and you begin coughing hard, sometimes even coughing up blood. And again, this is part of oh, the plan, great. because this now you chat. spread millions of bacteria tonight. catching rides in tiny droplets. You burn you know, a high cowboy. fever and lose weight as your body is severely stressed. You turn into a ghost version of yourself. Even if you are treated, this phase can last weeks to months and is very serious. Insufficiently treated, TB will over months, years, or even decades slowly overtake your body. Especially for children or those already weakened, this can be too much, and the disease wins the war. The bacterium spreads to other organs, lung function breaks down, and the patient dies. 1.3 million people died this way in 2023 alone. The worst kind of problem. Tuberculosis is the worst kind of problem, a slow one. Instead of killing millions quickly, like COVID, scaring a panicked humanity into frantic action, TB is a smoldering fire, killing too slowly for our short attention span. The symptoms are often mild for many months, so you don't feel in danger. <laughs> Tuberculosis doesn't I, I feel want the danger. to kill you, of course. It wants I, to stay I'm alive the white and death. spread. And to do this, crocodile. it exploits human behavior. The people you are most likely to infect are your family and friends, co-workers, or neighbors. The people you spend God, a lot of time Do you remember when they said there. we should stop blowing out candles on When COVID brought the cakes. world to a halt, the average patient infected two to three people. An active TB patient infects five to 15 people in a year. Most people catch it via breathing tiny droplets from a cough or sneeze. This is especially common in crowded, poorly ventilated housing or workplaces, which is why so TB exploded during the Industrial Revolution. And indeed, wherever we see new unplanned and overcrowded urbanization, from Lagos to St. Petersburg, we tend to see a rise of the White Death alongside it. Today, most cases of active tuberculosis, the version that spreads the disease further, can be cured with a four-month regimen of four different antibiotics. But if that's the case, how is this still the deadliest infectious disease on Earth? I'm curious. Between 1940 and 1965, humans developed several drugs to fight TB, finally making it curable. Is that a right? It was a true achievement of human ingenuity, but we didn't do a great job of distributing the cure. While tuberculosis is almost extinct in much of Europe, the US, and the Middle East, it is still a very real threat in most of the world. TB kills people primarily in Africa, South America, and Asia. In 2022, oh, wow. two thirds of all TB cases were in just six countries, India, China, Indonesia, the Philippines, Pakistan, and Nigeria. Wow. Almost half of all tuberculosis deaths happened in Southeast Asia. 
But as it is a slow problem like climate change, it was ignored instead of fought aggressively, which enabled more and more strains of TB to develop antibiotic resistance, which is a problem because we kind of stopped making new drugs. In the first 25 years of the antibiotic era, we developed eight different classes of drugs to treat TB. And then, in the 47 years between 1965 and 2012, we developed none. Developing new drugs is extremely expensive, and there was no concentrated effort to eradicate TB, and there simply wasn't enough profit incentive. There is a vaccine, but it's over 100 years old and not particularly effective. Uh, <laughs> but beginning what? in 2012, we did finally develop two new classes of drugs that treat TB, and we may finally be at an inflection point again as better vaccines are on the horizon. Companies that made COVID tests also developed a quick test for TB. So we now have a real opportunity to push this disease back until it dies forever. But only yeah, if we get enough that. people to know about TB, like you do now. Tuberculosis. Tuberculosis. In the United States, there were almost as many hospital beds for TB patients as for treating all other illnesses and injuries combined. The White Death was a leading cause of death in the U.S., and then one day, it just wasn't anymore. And we can do this again. 4,000 oh, people died of tuberculosis <laughs> yesterday. And we simply don't have to accept a world where so many of us still die of a disease That's we crazy. know how to cure. The White Death has been with us for millions of years. It is time to continue our journey without it. Oh, sevens to tuberculosis. Let's get rid of it. If you want to learn more about tuberculosis and the folks working to fight it through clinical trials and care delivery, and also learn how you can help. Okay. Uh, that's, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Chat, that's terrifying. Ugh. I'm going to have nightmares about tuberculosis, the white death. I don't know that's what it, like the nickname of it was, but I I, I do know, I, I wouldn't say a lot about TB, but it, uh, yeah, I mean, it killed a lot of people back in its day when it, you know, before the, the vaccine and the cure. And it just, dude, I mean, it was like a lot of these sanatoriums, right? They had men's wards, mother, women wards and then children wards and like whole families would be there and then split up and not seeing each other anymore it's terrifying doctors lived there like no one could leave these sanatoriums doctors nurses everybody lived there guards and that just they had a you know farms and it just that they lived there terrifying but learn a little bit more and again i'm gonna have some nightmares so i hope you enjoyed this reaction let me know what you think in the comments make sure you show in a nutshell some love by subscribing to the channel and chat we're trying to get to a quarter million subs so if you haven't yet please smash that subscribe button and join the sauce gang family enjoy the rest of your day and remember it's a sleep and make beats and the usual comment on another that's all i got boom i'm out Coo -hoo. come to love sauce gang beats out chat boy